Today was a Super Bowl Sunday, of course, but it is also, did you know, Emperor Norton's 200th birthday. Night Beats Joe Vasquez joins us now in San Francisco with how the man never really died. Sounds spooky, Joe. Hey, Brian. Well, the party is on. You can see it here at City Hall and several establishments around the city, marking the birthday of one of our most unique forefathers, a man who is either a visionary well before his time, a brilliant guy, or somebody who lost his mind, or both. Inside the bar called Emperor Norton's Booze Land in the Tenderloin, we found two Emperors Norton the First celebrating their birthday. And we command the consuming of libations and cake in our honor. What say the brethren? Most days, both men dress up in costume, portraying the legendary, visionary, eccentric San Francisco street character. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The real Emperor Norton, born this day in 1818, was a 49er, moved here the year of the gold rush as a businessman, went broke a few years later, then it wasn't long before he was seen walking the city streets in a uniform, proclaiming to anyone who would listen that he was Norton the first. Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico. And while everyone knew he wasn't a real emperor, people also acknowledged that he had some crazy ideas that may also have been brilliant. I called for the establishment of a League of Nations to promote world peace, and the United Nations were formed in this city in 1945. The Bay Bridge should be known as the Norton Bridge, the Emperor Norton Bridge, conceived over 60 years before it was built. It was the idea that there should be a bridge from Oakland to Yerba Buena Island to Telegraph Hill. That was his original idea. So he conceived of the idea. That's what well, he he certainly popularized. I mean, the, the, the idea was was in the papers at the time, uh, but but he's the one who really sort of advanced it. Happy birthday to you. So tonight we celebrate the emperor who, legend has it, would eat for free at any restaurant in town. When he died, 10,000 people attended his funeral proceedings. The Coit Tower atop Telegraph Hill is lit up in gold in his honor, as is San Francisco City Hall. This is a city that appreciates people who are different, and that people can come here and reinvent themselves. And that is a spirit that continues to run through our city. One lesser known fact about the emperor is that he pushed for the desegregation of institutions here in San Francisco, calling for equality for African Americans as well as Asian Americans. So call him crazy, Brian, or call him a visionary who has left quite a legacy for the city. Absolutely, Joe. A city all lit up tonight. Thank you, Joe.